Hello everyone, I'm Captendo and welcome back. So today it's pretty rainy in my town, uh, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to spend most of the day indoors anyways, because today we are going to be working on making a Team Rocket grunt outfit. I really like how creative they got with the outfits and I feel like it opens up the ability to make a bunch of things. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So the first thing we need to do is build a design and then after we make that design we'll just build around it. So we gotta go to custom designs and then you'll have to go over to the pro designs. So you can see right here I already got a Team Rocket outfit made but I'm gonna go ahead and make a new one. Once you get into here I like making them as a hoodie because it gives me the long sleeves without giving it that weird texture sweater or it being too long or this having like collar and buttons going down the middle. I think the hoodie is the best option. So we'll just go ahead and make a hoodie and the first thing you want to do is go all the way over to black, change your tool to the fill all button and then just fill in every part of the outfit. Once you've done that we need to head back to the front and I say we start by making the R because uh, if you make the R but it's in the wrong spot you can use the drag design to drag the R around and fit it. Um, but if you start building everything else, then everything else is going to move all at once. So that's not good. So let's go ahead and select the pen and we'll go over to red. So I usually start um, from like where the, the little V part, it comes to its end down here. I go one, two, three, and then the fourth square down is where I start building. Now, the next thing we need to work on is the belt. So we can just use this gray here and you can, you can increase the size of it here. So. I'm gonna fill in this whole bottom part. So this is just four high from the bottom, so let's go one, two, three, four, and let's go all the way across. And now that we already have this belt, or at least the foundation for it started, we can go ahead and do the same thing to the back, just to get that out of the way, so we don't have to try and measure it out later. Now, the next thing we need to do is work on making the belt loops. So we'll go back to a single pixel uh, pen, and let's go five in, and then on the sixth one, we'll make a line. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth one, we'll cut down. And then same on this side, one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth one, we'll cut down. And then we can go here, and let's say about three pixels in from the left, we'll make another cut. Or actually, let's go two pixels in from the left, and we'll make a cut. And there goes our belt loop for the back. And then we'll cut back over to the front of the shirt and we'll do the same here. Now we do want to make it look like a like belt buckle. So I do say take the bottom row and then just like use the black, cover it in like that. Then it looks like a belt. I did not do that on the back one. Hey, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> so then the next thing we need to do is come back here to the front and we need to select red again. Now we need to make a little red line across the little mid sections. Don't do anything with the middle because that's just like the middle of the belt. Uh, and then we'll go here and then two here and two more here and then we'll do the same on the back whoops and then we're basically done with the front and back so we need to work on the sleeves so for the sleeves this one's pretty easy um, I would say go here to the white and we're going to actually change its color so if you go to change the color um, you can go down I would say one two three four mm, five We'll go about five. And what we want to do is use the little guideline it has here, the little brown lines it has going down the top and uh, to left and right down the center. And what we need to do is go down three. So one, two, three. And then on the fourth one, we'll make our line. So we can go ahead and use the big one here and fill in the rest. There we go. We got our Team Rocket outfit. And then what you need to do is after you make it, go ahead and wear that design. This next part requires that you have some specific items. If you don't have the items, you can be on the lookout for them. Um, or if, if you know anyone who has any extras to go ahead and uh, see if they can give you them. But once we get in here, we'll go ahead and take off all the extra stuff I was wearing. And then we need to get some uh, specific items on. So first off, we need pants. And I use the cropped pants just because the boots are going to cover anyways. I need something dark for pants that'll at least kind of blend in. The next thing we're going to need is the dandy hat. There you go. That's like classic Team Rocket hat. Then the next part we're going to need is if I scroll down, we need to get the superhero, where is it? There it is, the superhero mask. Now when it comes to the boots, you you can wear socks if you want. I don't really use socks. Like if, if, it's, if the socks aren't gonna show, for me there's really no point in putting them on, but I'll just put them on just to do it. And then we'll go ahead and put on the lace up boots. 
Now, I got these boots because they're the only white boots I could find. I have these, but these are not Team Rocket. <laughs> So we'll go ahead and use the lace up boots and this is why I used that white earlier and made it a few shades darker because if I just use pure white um, It wouldn't match so as you can see here my sleeves match more with my boots compared to if I were to just use normal white Then they would be a lot brighter So we'll go ahead and do this and we got our team rocket outfit and we'll go ahead and hit done Now we got ourselves a team rocket outfit now, if you guys would like to make your own Team Rocket grunt, you can go ahead and follow all the steps I did in the video, or if you'd like, you can also download the design. I'm gonna upload it right here. So that way, if you don't wanna make your own, but you still want the Rocket outfit, you can always go and download mine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload it. All right, so here we are. We got the Team Rocket grunt hoodie. It's posted up, and we also, if you guys would like one, we also got Captendo hoodies. So that is it for today's video everybody, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and go ahead, get yourselves a Team Rocket Grunt outfit. Thank you guys again, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone! Oh, I don't even have my wave set up, oh, <laughs> where is it? Oh, there it is, hi -ya. bye everyone!